out EA Sports. Taken at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. And they will be let out by their rookie quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Second and 10. They'll set up to throw. Looking sideline incomplete. You talk about this Washington defense. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. And this group talks all the time about wanting to be better, getting stronger against the run. And to me, it all starts up front. You've got to win the line of scrimmage in order to play against the run very well. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. Taken from just outside the 30. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. And they will be let out by their 6-4 quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm time when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. Looking to throw, Daniels. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. It'll go as an impressive 31 yard gain. I guess we got a good idea about what the game plan is for attacking the secondary. No beating around the bush with this crew. His first throw of the game is a deep shot and it connects. That's a tendency breaker, right? Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get review. one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Now well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Running on first down, Eckler. And he gets this inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. Pretty effective run there. And now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. And he will find his man on the outside. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. First and goal from the six. Back to throw. Daniels eluding the pressure right. And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. It's their quarterback with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Commanders will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with it. You don't want him getting happy feet but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls it down, takes it himself, and takes it into the end zone. Extra point from McManus is good. And that makes the score 7-0. A drive that time of six plays. And it's capped off 
by a touchdown run of six yards. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. And let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and maybe the offensive move a little bit. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> One of only two rookies to top 1,000 yards on the ground last year. Here's Tyler Algier. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Here is third and five. Looking to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Here's the eighth overall pick from Texas. It's B. John Robinson. And a nice job there, skipping away from the one tackle. It ends up getting five yards out of that. Second down from the 47. It's second and five. They'll run again here with Robinson. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That's now consecutive five-yard carries to pick up the first down. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second down and a run by Robinson. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 15 yards, first down Atlanta. The first drive this unit had, they putted. This drive, much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time. Touchdown, Falcons! Kyle Pitts from 21 yards away. And the Falcons are an extra point away from evening this one up. When we draw up defenses on the board, we do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. Extra point attempt to come here. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So leave it at 7 now as they kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. Yeah, they dipped a game below 500 following the loss last week. And you get the sense that maybe this team's at a little bit of a crossroads here. Yeah, I think that's a really good way to put it because what's that old mountain block if you come to a fork in the road take it? <laughs> because this group, they're losing ground fast. They've got to start winning some ball games. And the good teams, they're starting to separate themselves, and these guys are being left behind. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, Really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Looking to throw. Daniels. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. 
Up the middle with Eckler. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. 57 yards rushing for him as he's got the after off to a great start. Off play action. Daniels. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 63 yards receiving for him now, and that last catch good enough for a first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Eckler now between the tackles. And he will take it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Austin Eckler, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And Washington has taken the lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw it one deep. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Hand off now to Robinson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down as they've got it as we resume action. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line, 41. So third and two, this quite possibly four-down territory, though, if they're stopped. Algier will try to pick it up. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. And just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. So first down, and they'll stick with Algier. In on the stop, it was Dorrance Armstrong. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. They did a nice job there, holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Give him 32 on the play. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball's right on the money and leads to a big play. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. 
So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Algier. Fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. Call it a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. Algier again. But he will not get to the goal line. In fact, he won't get to the line of scrimmage as they push him back to the two. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Can this defense hold them out? Here we go now, fourth and goal from the two. They'll run for it with Robinson. And he's not going to get there. They tackle him at the two. The run is turned away on fourth and goal from the two. And the commander defense able to hold. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop him short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And he'll find a little space. He gets us up near the 10. And a solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. This is a counter play. Eckler. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Call that a loss of a yard and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. Off the play fake. Daniels. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Call it a gain of seven and it gets him a new set of downs. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Robinson gets the toss on the right side. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. A give, Eckler running to the right. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Operating from the gun, Daniels. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. This drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. Back to throw. Daniels escapes the sack. Buying time to his left. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 45-yard line. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down of the process. Looking to throw, Daniels. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Brady Jarrett in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Yes, a real defensive resistance there. Saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Here is third and quite a ways. 
Robinson up the middle. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. It's a 15-yard pickup, but it'll lead to a fourth down. That was a good, strong run there. And while one pick up a first down, it was definitely something needed by that offense. A positive run. They got a good push by their guys up front. Maybe something they can build on as this game continues. Well, B. John Robinson and the Falcons back onto the field. Now the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it, because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with the run so far. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. Into the hands of London. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there as they were able to connect. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So here is Washington now to take over. They were losers a week ago to the Bears, but they lead things here as they begin this drive first and 10. They started on the ground with Eckler. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 72 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fool them with the inside run. On second down, Eckler. And this time he won't even make it back to the line of scrimmage as they stop him in his tracks. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 37. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 13 yards there at a Washington first. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they're leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Now those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. The handoff, it's Heckler. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Austin Eckler, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Commanders take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. 
circle that drive because that might be one to remember well executed to give him a little cushion well, let's take it into the boxing ring you talk about them commanding it keeping the fight where they wanted to whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab 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 and finally the haymaker to put that drive away after the touchdown here's McManus now to kick it away from a yard or two deep here comes a return and he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Second down and a run by Robinson. And only a couple there up to about the 23-yard line. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. First target, first catch, and a first down. Well, for teams that like to play man coverage, running corner routes can be tough on them because of the ability of getting into it. Sometimes you're squaring it off. Sometimes you're just rounding it. Sometimes there's a fake. Sometimes there's not. That makes it very, very difficult for a DB to stay with it. On first and 10, it's Algier. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Algier going straight ahead. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. Second and five. They'll drop to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. A nice gain of 21 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Back to the ground with Robinson. Benjamin St. Juice there on the stop. So there the defense denies the rookie of his potential first career touchdown. And his first NFL touchdown celebration. I wonder if he's thought about it, if he has something cooked up in his head as he worked out with his team. And think about the celebration back home when he finally scores his first touchdown. You don't get a second chance to make a first impression. We'll see what he does. Well said, sir. Well said. They'll run with Robinson. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. When you're this close to the goal line, you got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. So the sack means it's third and goal now from the 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Pressure, they got him again. A nightmare on third and goal. He sacked, and multiple players broke through the line to get him. 
fourth down, and the attention turns to Falcon kicker Young Way Koo. From the right hash, just a 34 yard attempt. Koo knocks this one through the post. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result that he opted for the touchback. The Washington offense back out there. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. This offense so far on third down, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. This will be third and six. Zach Ertz has it complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Now a throw here to his running back. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Third and five. Operating from the gun, Daniels able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Up the middle with Eckler. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Complete to Zacchaeus. Seven yards on the quick slant and a first down. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. Well, now hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Operating from the gun, Daniels. Ertz has it left side. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion and would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Back to throw. Daniels flush to his right. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. 
We've seen this already from him in this game. Second time, he's into the end zone with a rushing touchdown. So the head coach is going to have to have a meeting with the owner this week. You know why? He's got to let the owner know, I know you wrote the check for his arm, but we're going to make him a part of our running game, too. This guy can do it all. Let's see where he takes us. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side, Might be a little gas, yeah, right? a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting up field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. They'll look to throw. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. From the 38 now, here's second down and three. They're going to look to throw. This one hauled in, and again, it's Robinson. And he gets it down to the 32. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. Back to throw again. Got this complete to the tight end pits. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. They'll look to throw again. Complete to Mooney on the slant. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Well, they needed three scores to have any chance. There's the first of the three as they get into the end zone. Yeah, Brandon, I think that our guys at Next Gen Stats in charge of the win probability are probably saying your chances still aren't great. But now, you still got more than three minutes to go. You got to focus on the task at hand, which is going to be getting the football back as quickly as possible. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is down to 11 at 28-17. And this is going to be covered up by Washington. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. On the counter, this is Robinson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Great play that time defensively by Zach Harrison. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. 53 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. I know we're there of wide open football a lot of spread formations, more space, but there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle, and you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it, and it's second down. He's going to get it again, just looking to get forward and protect the ball. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. On third down, Robinson. 
And he takes it in. Touchdown, Commanders. His fifth rushing touchdown on the year, number seven overall. And the Commanders have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. And here on third down, your number one goal, don't be a hero, just get the first down. But here, once he gets past the line of scrimmage, the field opens up for him, and he's able to take it right up the gut and into the end zone. Now McManus to tack on the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Atlanta regains possession of the football. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Again, he'll drop to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Robinson. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. They'll look to throw here on first down. Robinson's got it. Oh, a good move at the five. And the Falcons are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. They go play action here on first down. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. It's a loss of five. One final shot. They'll look to throw. They still can't get it. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So for the Commanders, they climb back to 500 now at three up and three down. And they'll have another road date next week with the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for Atlanta, the losses are piling up as they drop to one and five now. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Tampa to take on the Bucks.